and welcome back to the Dungeon of Bad Decisions. This is the 50th installment of Anna Times to Explain Things. I'm your host, Anna, and this week's topic is uh, etiquette in an online campaign. <laughs> Give it up on not showing you guys the script. This is the script. I hand wrote it while I was at work. Hi. Yes, I'm a mess. Or something I've noticed with people who play mostly in real life games uh, and not online. When you get online, there's a couple of things that, it, there's etiquette to be had that's slightly different from the normal gaming etiquette. Uh, the biggest one is crosstalk. When you're in a, when you're in like an actual physical game, it's easy to like mutter an aside to somebody who's sitting next to you or like move around the table to, uh, to talk to somebody without bothering the rest of the party or the DM. Uh, when you're in an online game, everybody can hear everything you're saying at the same volume, basically. It doesn't matter if you whisper, because there's no... All the sound is coming from the same place, basically. It's all coming from the same speakers. So the best thing is to do is to keep any, like, crosstalk or side talk to whatever text chat uh, client you're using. Roll20 is really popular, um, and it has a voice chat and a text chat, so that's a thing that you can use if you, like... You can speak... all. And the great thing about the Roll20 text chat is that you can speak as yourself or as in character. You can, like, literally just change who it's saying. It's like saying, uh, Anna said, Anna, blah, 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 character name, blah, 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 you know? So you can have role play and real talk. Another thing, uh, is that if you're, uh, is that your DM can't see, nobody can see what, if you're rolling physical dice. And so some DMs don't like using the honor system in that regard and prefer you to use the digital roller uh, in Roll20 or whatever you're using so that they can see your rolls. Um, which, even though I really hate using digital rollers and will kind of religiously use physical dice, I will still respect that because, look, not all DMs know that I'm a terrible liar. And that if I misreport a roll, it's because I'm bad at math and not because I'm lying. So, you know, just try not to take it personally. If your DM is like, I don't want you using physical dice, I want you rolling in the thing. It's, you know, it's just, it's just nice. Pretty much everything else is the same, you know. No metagaming, don't be a dick. Try not to break everybody. If you're, don't break your DM, don't break your players. You know, come prepared, pay attention, you know, all that jazz. Just, you know, it's just really crosstalk and digital rollers. But those can really, really fuck up, like, the flow of a campaign if you're not not aware. If you enjoyed this video, check out more content in the links in the description below for the Dungeon Bad Decisions Discord server, and my blog where I post quotes, anecdotes, and photos from the tabletop games I play in at the Dungeon of Bad Decisions.tumblr.com. And to support my Patreon. Special thanks again to Crunchy Chompy for being a game master's nightmare. And to Paul John and Tark for being average adventurers. Uh click here to check out the rest of the series, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Roll 20s, y'all!